Hello guys, in this lesson, what we are going to do is to refactor our route from our server.json file. Because as you can see, our code is getting bigger and bigger. So we have to move all the route to its own file. Okay, so before that, I want to clean up my connection string I paste here. And to able to refactor our route, let's start creating a folder inside our backend project folder. Let me call this one route. Okay, so the first route we are working on is called user. So let me call this one off route because this or whatever. Okay, let me make user route so that you mean easier to understand. Okay, so users route dot js. Okay, so what do I need? I need to import express. Let me sort require, not import. Express. And for express, we have what is called, let me create an instance of express router. So let me call this one user. Let me call it users route equal to express.router so this is how you create an instance of express router okay so what do i need okay so first i have to cut all the route from this file okay so let's start moving the register route so let me copy from here from line 24 up to sorry up to line sorry 13 okay like that so let me cut it to clipboard and then let me paste it here okay so what changes we are going to make is to instead of app I'm going to make use of user route so i'll delete this one and use user users route okay and i have to export now that we have cut from our server if you try to run this application and create a new user let's see not found because we have moved that route to its own file so what do we need? We need to export this user route because we are attaching additional property called post and put forever. So we can have access to all the additional HTTP verb on the user routes instance. So what do we do? We have to ex export module.export, which is users route. Okay, so how can I make use of this route? So what you do is you have to pass this one as a middleware. Okay, so instead of route here, I will say app.use. Okay, and the app.use take a couple of arguments. The first one is a route, which is API slash users slash register, if you remember. Okay. But since we have this this route being stated here as that, so what you can do is that since API slash users will be common to all the HTTP endpoint, whether it is get, post, or delete, all start from API slash users. But the last one differs. For example, we have login, we have update, we have delete. Okay. So what you can do is that instead of writing this long one here we can even cut this one we can delete or cut this one here and then going back to our server.js inside this app.use we can pass that one so this one was set as a base url okay because all our users start from api slash users slash users or slash login or whatever so what we can leave it here is register, right? So 
what we can do is next is we have to pass in the route we created here as a second argument. So let's try to import it here. So users route that is auto import as that which is line four that one. So I have to pass as a second argument to this users route as that. So when I go back to my postman and then let me change this email to email three and send. As you can see that, let's look at the response, what is coming back. So let's check our, either our DB is connected. Okay, I have some beautiful errors here. So let's try to figure out what is wrong. Okay, so let's see, user is not defined exactly. Because instead of user route, we are making use of user model, but it's not anywhere to be found. Okay, so we have to import the model, this one, inside a user route. So I make use of auto import user like that, which is online too. Okay, so save it. Go back to our postman and send again. And let's look at the error again. No error is created successfully. Let's go back to our refresh our compass. As you can see, we have we have the user being created. So we can continue to refactor these the remaining route for so the same way we can cut the login here and then login I will paste it here the next line 18 or line 20 and I will change the app to users route the next one is the update cut it and then go to users route make some paste space paste it and change only users route the next one is delete okay and then make some space paste it and change to users route beautiful so as you can see our server.js file is now has little, little of or minimal code so we have one more route that refresh users so i can copy cut this one go to user route paste it and change the app to users route as that all right so now first i have aps as users and the user route so this one will catch all the or make this app that use the app that use me for this one either it is get or post any route that matches the request it will run so now we have a base api slash users let's go back to our user route again and then for the first one register because we have api slash users in our base url we can do away with that one the api slash users and then like so the last one is lit api slash users right because we have that one being stated there so now we have a clean sheet so now if you go back again and then let's look for fetch users let's try all the endpoints it works delete it works update it works register you know login it also works so that's how we refactor application our route to different file like i said I, I plan to make use of M, M, MVC pattern, but I don't want to make it complicated, so I will stick to that, this one, throughout this application. So this is how, guys, we refactor application or route to different file. So the takeaway here is that always, always, if you want to make um, a route, create an express router, what you need is to import express and then attach a function called router and there we have for the variable here we have all the http method but one more time and go back we have dot get we have post 
we have delete and we have update put and all other http web that you can talk about